Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Monday, May 28th. In the U.S., we recognize and celebrate it as Memorial Day. And the Memorial Day is a time for most people to recognize and, and um, pay homage to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice with their life. Hey, Kendra, we say for those of us who have served and I have served in the military, um, and I still serve the military as even now, uh, you know, the, a, a little quick saying that we say is, um, all gave some, but some gave all, all meaning their entire life. They, they left their life for a cause that whether or not they chose to um, agree with the politics that at a time put us in a place or not, or whether they, they served at a time of where the military here in the U.S. was voluntary. Um, having spent a, a couple of decades as an active duty Marine and still work with Marines. Um, I, I wanna say that, and this will be a very quick session. Hey, Leonard, hey, Deb, good evening, Deb. Um, you know, one of the things that here in America, a lot of people will say once they either see you in uniform or they know that you have served the military, they'll say, oh, thank you for your service. And I don't know that people really know what that means. I don't know that they understand, um, well, to a certain extent, I know they can't understand unless you've walked in those shoes, unless you've worn that uniform, unless you've had to, uh, unless you've served, you don't fully understand. But I also am not sure uh, that that is just not like a quick, cute saying for a lot of people. Oh, thank you for your service when you have no idea of what it really means to have served in the military and um, given so much of yourself voluntarily given so much of yourselves to to defend a nation and its way of life and it's um, the freedoms that we enjoy here and unless you've traveled outside of the u.s or unless you've traveled outside of the country that uh, your country of origin, you miss out on a lot. You don't recognize that there are other ways of doing things, even as a nation. The freedoms that we enjoy here, right to speech, right to free speech, and uh, the way to the right to worship the way we choose, all of those, uh, you know, the right to bear arms, all of those um, freedoms and and privileges that we have here, uh, they they come with a they come with a price tag. Nothing is free. Nothing is free. And so on this day of uh, memorial, when we are thinking of and and remembering those who have given their lives, I'm just going to ask that you stretch yourself, especially if you never served in the military or had family members to serve in the military. I'm going to ask that you stretch your 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 thought process a little more and just think about those who um, are either still serving or they are veterans of the military and all that they have given because all wounds are not visible. If I like, okay, I burned myself. <laughs> I burned myself. Um, in the oven this weekend, that, that's visible. You might be able to see, oh my goodness, what happened to you? If I have an, uh, a leg or an arm that's, you know, amputated or I'm on crutches, those are visible wounds. So you can see there are some wounds that are invisible and yet people are still suffering with them. That PTSD, um, or TPI, TBI, traumatic brain injury, or post-traumatic stress disorders. You can't necessarily see those wounds, but they are alive and well to the point. Unfortunately, the statistics have it that some veterans are taking their own lives 
to the tune of 22 veterans committing suicide every day. And from the outside, if all you're looking at is on the outside, they're functioning, may seem a little down every once in a while, but they get up, they get dressed, they go to a job every day. And, and then it seems like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened because we don't see the wounds that they carry um, in their soul, in their mind. And so I'm just gonna ask that you, as you celebrate, however you celebrate Memorial Day with barbecues, with families, with going to um, the grave sites of, of your family members, I'm just gonna ask that you recognize and, and, and say a prayer of gratitude for those not only who sacrificed their lives, but for those who are still sacrificing and still bearing the wounds of um, a service that they have provided while you enjoy the rest of the day. Think on those who have given all, but think on those who um, are walking around with the invisible wounds. Invisible wounds. Okay. I am not, I did not intend to sound somber. I just recognize that um, today is, it has to be more than about barbecues or the start of the summer season. So it's, oh my goodness, summer's out and woo woo, but we're gonna enjoy. It's a little more than that to me. And for those who serve and have served and continue to serve, it means, it means more. So when you say thank you for your service, I, I will accept it and say, oh, it was my pleasure. Um, but it makes me wonder what you really know about the service that we have given, that we are giving. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, take very, very good care of yourselves.